What's all this? It's a thank you party for you! A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all... St we can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so... We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we take this chance to throw you apart. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh... Jean? I... Huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... Uh, this is just all such... Thank you, everyone. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things... I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy... So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Did you really? Even the issue with the food delivery? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take... And the tax returns? Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at... It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. We're <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh. Master Diluc, I... Agreed. Now, let the party begin! It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Oh, wow! Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tea. Two things. One, this sweet madame. T did you make them? Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you... I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Hum, num, num, num. Has Amber been drinking? Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Oh, Amber. Two things. Did you make them? I'm... Hum. Has Amber... Oh, my word. The Tawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they... I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, Fenty can drink a frightening amount. Ah, oh, hello! I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. Much like my balance, it deserves to be... What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal? That would be the drink top. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the city of the wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! Hey, having a good time? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. So instead, 
we just gave you all the credit. After all, you did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> you think so? So you admit it! <laughs> I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. That's class number 37. What's Diluc doing? I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my wine. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. When he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. Diluc! You're a meanie! I'm joking, of course. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway, so I shall spare him the bill. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. <sighs> this is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? Uh, is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together. But I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess. <laughs> Chilies. Chili pepper? In a drink? Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night, while the rest of the world melted away around them. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. I'm just saying, Jean went upstairs to the balcony, alone. Now's your chance. Oh, it is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. It is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The lion tooth knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead, the winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. You've got to try Dawn Winery's Dandelion. 